Hi, Tony here again. Just a short video this one, or hopefully I'll try and keep it as short as possible, um, just to show a way of um, saving your panels um, or a way of archiving them off uh, and protecting um, any issues that you may have in the panels tab. So um, it's something, it takes a little bit of getting your head around the, um, the panels within the panels tab here and also within the create edit tab there's a section called panels here just similar to your big list of instruments there's also one where you can have a big list of panels. Um, now I normally work in the beta version um, and I obviously use these features quite a lot to make sure I'm backing up my instruments because obviously it is, uh, it is um, beta software. So um, I'm back in the 3.6 stable just to show this. It's just uh, a little cleaner in terms of um, I've not got so much information here. So you can see I've just got a couple of Beechcraft Baron ones in here in a, in a minute. But um, we're going to create a brand new one of our own. And I'm going to show how it's easy to back up what you've created here. So you've gone to a lot of trouble of dragging these and sizing these and getting these exactly how you want them. And then for some reason you inadvertently either um, delete it or um, you it gets corrupted or something happens to it and it won't open i've had a couple of issues um related to that and that's why i've started doing this process now of once i get things the way i want them here i'll make sure i um, create them back into the create edit and i'm going to show you how to do that so obviously before you inadvertently delete it or uh, anything happens to it once you've got it exactly the way you want it um and you can still tinker with it afterwards, so that's the beauty of this process. Um, it's a two-way thing, so you can you can you can move it from panels to create edit, and then from create edit back into panels again. That's the that's the uh, the clever little feature this that this is. So we have a sample panel that I've just created here. Nothing um, that really means anything, but just chucked a load of instruments onto a, a panel just for demonstration purposes. And I've called it sample panel. There you can see my list of instruments down the left there, and you can see the instruments there on the on the panel there, uh, just in front. So what we can do with that sample panel is, um, if anything happened to that, I would have lost that. I would have had to have created that again by by going up to panel and uh, selecting a, a new blank panel, and then selecting all the individual instruments and dropping them and sizing them, putting them where I need to put them. Um, there's a way to protect against that and there's obviously a way um, if you didn't want them, it to be in here temporarily and you just wanted to archive it off and you fancied bringing it back again um, you could just bring it back from storing it uh, outside of uh, Air Manager um, just on your hard drive or wherever you want to archive it off to. So we'll go to the Create Edit tab. You can see there's two the two uh, radio buttons here for instruments and panels. So we've got the panels one selected uh, and then we're going to just use the buttons very similar to creating an instrument uh, along the top here. Um, we're going to use the new button to create a new uh, in, um, a new panel. So the interface is a little different. You do still get the initial dialogue like you do with an instrument, but the information it is asking you is is a little different. So essentially, it creates this top level. You can see at the moment on the left hand side, it's just created a new blank. There's nothing written in there at the moment because we haven't filled any information out here, and it's done the same in this tree view on the left hand side here. And you can see at the moment, panels and instrument are greyed out at the top here uh, because we haven't created an aircraft model yet. So you kind of uh, move from left to right you create this top level first then you add the aircraft then you add the panel and then you add all the instruments to the panel um, but there's a way of bypassing adding the instruments if you've already done it in panels and that's what I'm going to show you so um, it takes a little bit of getting your head around this because obviously you've got panels tab and you've got panels here in create tab it so essentially they're they are the same they're both a panel um, but within the create edit then obviously it gives you the the, the flexibility to be able to edit and, and export them and import them in and out whereas in the panels tab you don't that's more of a drag and drop type user interface um, but you can use that for editing if you find that easier to place the instruments and then just bring it back into uh, create edit as a way of storing and looking after your instruments which is uh, how I tend to use it so we create a top level here we call it uh, sample panel or panels maybe 
um, because you can create more than one aircraft in here. You can see this has been multi-leveled and multiple panels within each aircraft if you want to as well. So different combinations of instruments, maybe different radio stacks or you know maybe a turbo and non-turbo variant so you want to change the manifold pressure gauge only or the rpm gauge or, or whatever uh, also you put your name in here whatever and then version i'm going to say 100 for version one but you can call that whatever you want the aircraft in this case is a prop it's a steam uh, cockpit uh, it's got one engine and then this is uh, just free text. Uh, okay. And they're just a, a selection of the the, the panels, uh, the the platforms that you that you want uh, that this panel will support. And you can see now it says sample panels at the top, and the same over here on the left in the main uh, interface. Uh, so we've created our 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 top level. Then from the top level. The next level down is aircraft model. If I click on that now, you see it's created this little aircraft icon and some blank fields. So again, the make. Uh, and I call it Xperry. And I'm going to call it EXP01, just a made up name. It's a generic aircraft. Uh, if it was a specific aircraft for a certain sim, when you if you were to say select an X, X plane aircraft, um, you you got um, fields there to put the developer's name in and the version that it supports and uh, what sim it is etc um, if you wanted to do that um, I'm just going to choose a generic aircraft so it grays those out because obviously it's just generic that I've created fairly easily so that's the aircraft model you can see now we've created the aircraft model the panel uh, button is now ungrade but the instrument one is still grayed so now we can now we're highlighted on um, you can see when I click on the top level panel and instrument are grayed out because I'm not on the right level to be able to select a panel I need to be on the aircraft level to be able to select panel and likewise I need to be on the panel level to be able to select instrument but because I haven't created a panel yet uh, in, I can't actually get that instrument to ungrade, so that's what we're going to do now. Create a panel. Now I can create a panel from scratch if I click on the plus button, and you can see it creates a panel. And now I can click. Uh, now I can click on instrument, so you can see it's created an instrument there. If I click again, it'll create another instrument. Um, you see it says unavailable by default, and then you click on that. And over on the right here, you can then just choose what instruments you, you know, you want to add, and then you have to key all the information in for the left top width height you can select and store any user properties so it will remember them but it's a bit of a long-winded way of laying out your panel for the very first time because you don't graphically get to see what it's going to look like you, you would have to have somehow worked out what all these numbers need to be so that they all sort of position themselves and size themselves correctly on the on the screen so you may have already done that in which case you can come and do it this way um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove that um, panel. Just wanted to show you that. And just right click now on here and you get two options. You get add a layout. If I do add a layout, that's the same as adding a panel. Exactly the same as what that button does there. And then you can just click on the ind individual instruments again and you get the unavailable and you can select the instrument over here on the right. Okay. I'll just remove that again. Or the other option I get is add a layout from. Now add a layout from is looking back at your panels tab here now for panels that have already been uh, created. Um, so you can see these are the ones that I had in my panels tab on the left there and the one that we created for this demonstration was the sample panel. So I'm going to select that and you can see it now put sample panel in there and it's already got the little drop down arrow. Oh look there's all my instruments. So you can see now if I click on them the instruments are already selected the left the top the width the height and all the user properties that I had set in the uh, panels tab already uh, it's pretty I mean you can come in and edit these and change them but it's already brought all that information over so I can drag and drop my creation sort of graphically in the panels tab and then I can just um, simply create the panel within create edit by just saying go look at that one I've already created and it brings all the instruments in uh, in there and as I said you can add multiple aircraft if I go back up to that top level you can add another aircraft you can see it creates another level for the aircraft 
or I could add within that same first aircraft, I could add another panel that I want to create my own, or I could add another um, panel from one of the other ones. So it's limitless really in terms of you can create whatever kind of tree you want coming off of that top level uh, panel. So you could, could just create one called all panels and create them all in here. I probably wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, it's probably better just to, to, to keep them to collection. So I'd call some of mine, say, um, Cessna 172 collection, and you might you might have a diff, uh, two or three different panels uh, for, for different things, um, radio stacks and whatnot, like I was explaining earlier. So let's just tidy this up and remove some of these unwanted ones for the minute. We're just going to focus on what we've got with a basic tree there with the top level, then the aircraft, and then the panel, and then the instruments below that. So that's your, that's your kind of four tiers, if you like. We can click OK now. You can click OK at any time, actually. You can, if, you, if you save it and you need to go and get some information from somewhere or whatever, you can, you can go back into that um, either by right-clicking the Edit Information, or you can just click on the Info button at the top there, and uh, just like you can in Instruments, and it'll open that panel. So however far you've got, and you click OK, it will just save where you've got up to and you can come back and you can add other panels or other aircraft at a later stage. No problem. So now we've created that sample panels. If we go back into the panels tab, you can see our sample panel is, is there. And now, um, we, oh, the other thing to say, just quickly back in Create Edit. Of course, now it's in here. You can use the export and import tools to do with it as you wish, just like you can with instruments. So you could export this off and save it on to your hard drive somewhere. Um, such that it's protected and then you could delete it from here and just use the import and then bring it back all back again and you've got all that information again so that's a way of protecting that panel information now what I'm going to show you is we're in panels tab and we've inadvertently or say we've got a corrupted um, this panel's got corrupted or um, we've inadvertently clicked remove oh I meant to remove the one above oh damn it don't worry we can we can bring it back so now if it, even if it wasn't sitting here, as long as we've archived it off, we can import it in again. It will be then sitting in here. Once it's sitting in here, we can go to Panels tab and we can just say, OK, I'll create a new panel. But rather than me create a new panel in the traditional way and say blank panel, and then have to add all the instruments individually like I did the first time round, I don't have to do all that work again. That Any panels that I have created within that Create Edit tab, you can see... Um, will appear in this list. Now, you can see this one that we've created, sample panels, which is the one that we created, hasn't got an image at the moment. And that's because we haven't created um, a preview um, for it. Um, sorry, let's just select sample panels. Next. Now, if, however many uh, panels you would have created, they would appear here. So if you've got multiple panels um, within there, they would all appear here and you could choose which one you want. But we only created the one, so um, we're going to select that one. Um, and then we're going to say Add. You can see immediately now it gets added to the list here and all the instruments are there. And as you can see, they're all in the locations that... Um, we set them in previously because it's bringing all that information over from that file and all the user properties will be set as per we set them in that file however we save them off so you can see that's just a quick way of getting your panel back really easy uh, if you just want to flush it out and, and bring it back in uh, now of course it's fair to say that if you've made any changes within here since you did that process of creating it in the create edit tab and then bring it back in then you will only bring in back the one that you last saved so if you want to make any uh, changes then what I would suggest the way to do that if we were to make a change in here by I don't know uh, moving uh, an instrument off like that you go into the create edit tab in here what you can very simply do is just um, remove that whole panel and just say add a layout from sample panels there you go it's there now and now if we were to look and compare um, what is it we moved um, it was the turn coordinator so the turn coordinator is now it's got 
a left of 38 pixels. If we go back here, you see the turn coordinator now has a left of 38 pixels, whereas before it was yeah 231. So you can see now, all I've done is I've just deleted that panel and said, well, bring it over again. So any changes I've just I've just sucked over again. And then of course, what would I have to do? I would have to then of course export that off again so it's saved. And I've got a copy of it. So really easy way of uh, saving your panels. Um, I suppose one quick thing just to quickly um, show before we finish in sample panels here is in the in the folder tab just like with uh, instruments that's opened on another monitor so I'll just drag it back in here you can see you've got the usual tree and uh, you've got uh, resources and um, you just need to um, save your um, let's have a look at one um, that I've done previously so you just need to say there's one there's a folder there called layouts you go into layouts and you see the individual uh, UUIDs there of, of the separate ones and you can go in here and just create this file called background.png and that's like some of your backgrounds and you can also um, create your previews uh, that way as well um, in, your, in your layouts is that there's one called preview so your background is your background image and the one called preview is your preview image that appears in the panels tab and that's how you get your images thanks for watching i hope that uh, will help some uh, some folks out um it's certainly a good way of archiving your panels